Her program, though, it's 6-1, and one, off to a fantastic start. River Baldwin, excellent position on the first possession of an easy layup. That was a great feed, and it's also good at River Baldwin. This Illinois State starting five, Maya Wong, the assist leader in the Missouri Valley. And a team that scores a good amount with balance. Open three here, and an air ball. On the defensive end, you know, Illinois State needs to make sure they also close out to our to the three-pointers on, on NC State's end. Um, Isaiah James with a quick start. Yep, that mid-range is going to be her bread and butter this game. Defense, work on getting those stops, work on getting those shot clock violations, so then you can go on the other side of the court and get the ball in the bucket. Six quick points, and River Ball would get involved down low. Nine and six coming in. Wong and a little iso finds Wilson. Nice spin move, and Baldwin says no. There's where the size plays a factor on the block. Rivers now running in transition. Interesting pass. James the moon ball way off. I like the vision, though, from the point guard of NC State. Open three for Waite, and that's where she's special. Caroline Waite, the Bradley transfer with her first three. A little bit of a bobble there on the on the initial pass, but transition three, that's just a great shot by Waite. Waite was the all-time percentage leader at Bradley before transferring over interconference in the Valley. A block on the Hayes attempt. She's there on the second chance. That's great of Hayes to make sure she stays with the ball. I'm NC State using that size mismatch. Mimi Collins down low and a miss. Baldwin snatches up, and that's an easy play down low. How about the offensive rebounding here for NC State? Bowman looks to get out of some trouble. Open three, wait. Wow, that's a great triple. Excellent ball movement for Illinois State. Town. Good test here early in Raleigh in a six-point game. Rivers will reset. Nice dump down to Baldwin. Sanaya late in the clock, opening up the triples for NC State. One in the lane for the Wolfpack. And Illinois State responding itself. Rivers has stepped up this year from deep. Wade's turn and a response. Three triples for Wade. Heating up here in Raleigh. Gillespie said if there's any game to miss a bunch of shots, it's the one before a top five team. Right. Here's Baldwin on the mismatch. That's just too easy. And NC State feeding its post players early. Rivers works it ahead of James. What a catch. Better find Collins. Beautiful one dish passing. I mean, you got Sanaya Rivers here, James running wide on the wing. That's, as a coach, you want them to run wide. Then when you run wide, it opens up the paint. If everyone's clogging the paint... It's just too easy for Westmore's club. Nice kick to James. Man, that ball movement's clicking early, but a miss for three. Nice rebound for Coffey. But ironically, he's not a big coffee drink. Learned that this week. Wong lets it fly, and a fourth triple. I mean, they're shooting five for nine. 55% from the three. If I'm close more, I think. On the season, Wong is shooting nine for 16 so far before this game. That's the strength of Illinois State. 40% coming in. Top 12 in the country. As Rivers is off on the three. As Charles Barkley says, 10 points in the paint in this first quarter. Hayes on the blow by. Breaks some ankles. And breaks down the defense for two. Literally breaks down the defense. Seeing her condition... On this drive, she attacked that high foot. Nice shot fake. Push the ball. Wolfpack, meanwhile, 14 points in the paint, living on the size mismatch. Rivers here with five. Cuts through the lane and is rejected. Baldwin, the lucky beneficiary there to bank it in. Bounce pass low or vice versa. Illinois State has hit four threes. Make it five. Abby Alsma out of Wisconsin hits the three. And just everybody saying, hey, close out harder. You need to close out all the way and force the bounce. One of the top scoring freshmen in the ACC behind Hannah Hidalgo of Notre Dame. Open three, Lacey Steele, and the Wolfpack hit their second triple. I mean, NC State, you know, closing out, you can tell that they're trying to get to the shooters. Right now, it looks like they're not playing as much in the gap. Um, they're kind of leaning more towards playing ball side. Zoe Brooks here with the steal. Good effort there by Brooks. Good run by Rivers. Oh, Rivers runs the break and misses. Collins cleans it up for the N1. That's a take advantage in transition if you're NC State. Zoe Brooks analyzing the deal. That was a look. That was like a one-hand no-look pass there. Shania Rivers didn't get the finish, but Mimi Collins. 102 points on Thursday and it went over Chicago State. 
Wong into the body of Brooks. Wilson the spin. Oh, lovely lefty finish. Steele on the attack. Oh, here's the mismatch. That's about six inches of height, and Rivers knocks it in. There's nothing you can do with that release. On that closeout, I mean... What were you listed at here at NC State? So I actually think I grew an inch here. As Zoe Brooks, Brooks gets the seal and runs it in in transition. So NC State here, what have they done defensively to change in the second quarter? Largely due to Sanaya Rivers. James gets in the lane and hits a nice jumper. This leads Balloon to 16. You have the athleticism on both ends. Working down low here, Savannah McGowan in the post. Nice blow by and a good hook shot for the Plymouth, Minnesota product. She did good staying patient here with the step through. Collier did good standing up straight, um, but as far as a lot of movement, if she would. You know the Golden Girls are still running. Ray runs on Netflix. Wait gets the bucket. And they have one chance here for Cameron Wade. Um, attacking his eye, you see she's playing on the high side. And the beam they get the ball off before the help comes over. Collier gets her a little bit. James gets by Dowell. Somehow throws out that pass. Look at the ball movement for NC State. And Brooks converts. You gotta love that as a player, getting everybody involved. Reynolds Coliseum. We'll come back after this on ACC Network Extra. Only shooting 25% in the second quarter. Wide open three. Best be careful. There's a huge triple for Brooke Coffey. There's Wes Moore searching for his 251st win at NC State. This club's off to a 14-point lead and goes right back in the lane. There's Baldwin. That's great execution. Illinois State, meanwhile, living on the three. Six triples today. Wong kicks it out. Wilson playing with three fouls. Gets in a Baldwin. Nice bucket. 27 assists a night. Another top 10 team. As Collins rolls it out. Gets it back. And a second effort there for the layup. James in transition. Nice pass to Hayes. Who missed it. Baldwin the rebound. Now look at Wade. Begging for the rock. Catch. Step back. Shoots. Knock it in. This is fun to watch. Shortest player on the court with five triples. It's a great cross-court pass, great court vision. Um, you know, wait, Isaiah James cut. A drop, but, I mean, hey, wait is the one shooting, so do we really want her to shoot the three? James takes her turn for three. A little back-and-forth battle from deep. Tried to, to close out hard, and then here, Isaiah James get her back. Uh, with this. Find a way to get weight involved here. Open three, Bowman. That is off. 4-3. Basketball and running the plays through. In the Vanderbilt game, you saw them, you know, someone taking, you know, a defender one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Mimi Collins here with the three. You know, she, she, that's another thing that she's added to her arsenal. So, yeah, I mean, here, Mimi Collins spots up, knocks it down. Eight in that game as Cameron Waite is trapped by a double team. McGowan lets it fly and a nice jumper for Illinois State, snapping a three-minute drought. Here on the offensive end, seven different players have scored for the Wolfpack, led by Baldwin, who is off on a tough jumper. Maya Wong playing in her 93rd career game, the sharpshooting point guard. Kicks it to Wade. Oh, that's lovely. Five threes for Wade. That is such a dynamic small guard making things happen. Then you got penetrate dish, Wade with the... Oh, she might have shot that from NBA 3. That was a deep one. We got a three-point battle. Having that quick release also coming off a ball screen, whether it's a down screen, double screen, is going to be really beneficial for Illinois State. That's a two-pointer for Madison Hayes. Five in double figures for the number one team in the country. As Wong hits the N1, that's a South Carolina team that went to Carolina and won. And I mean, they also um, weren't even top five ranked or top five projected in the ACC before the season started. Good second chance bucket for Deja Smith shift the dynamic of this year's team absolutely but, you know beating those top teams it doesn't seem like they have you know dropped any energy off of that UConn win I mean of course and Rivers have... continues that start exactly with Kai Crutchfield who played multiple years three ACC titles here at NC State I'm Evan Budrovich look at James into the step back they had a lovely James Harden S3 absolutely and with the answer the lefty too that's perfect camera weight's been fun to watch five triples for the Bradley transfer 
Looking for a sixth. Cameron Wade off the pick and pop. I love the ball movement of Illinois State getting her involved today. Yep, face screen, knock it down. It looks like Zoe Brooks also might have fallen asleep. Five on the shot clock, and that pass goes into no man's land. Oh, Rivers a little off balance. Better find the James, and the ball movement's lovely here from NC State. Maddie Cox is able to find Isaiah James running and finish with the left leg. It's all NC State through three. A 13 assists for Westmore's club. Now Zoe Brooks gets a couple of screens. Let's go with a three, and she's on the board from deep. Second Great triple. Execution. Great execution. It's Mallory Collier. Seeing that weight was about to go past her on that screen, resetting her feet and setting a good one. Nice triple in response. Abby Alsmo for three. I love this battle. Weight was pegging for it. The best shooter of the night here in Raleigh. Gets through a screen, heaves one up, and calls bank. It's Cameron Waite's day here in Raleigh. Your bag like that is Cameron Waite. What's the feeling as a player? I mean, you're the hot hand. You keep going. You keep scoring. You know, everyone's going to duck in on you. Great pass by Zoe Brooks there. Great hands by Mallory Collier. Not a ton of movement on this possession for NC State, who on Wednesday watched a 26-point lead in the fourth quarter drift down to eight. Westmore noted he wanted... Wong off the switch. Gets through one, gets all the way to the bucket. That's just too easy for Illinois State. It might have been a miscommunication there back, but there was also nobody there on the hell side either. Zoe Brooks lets it fly, and she's off on the three. Good start here for Illinois State in the Clemson. We talk about in-state rivalries. That'll be a great one. Wednesday night on ACC Network. Wilson back to work in a great bucket. The offense, though, for Illinois State. Yeah. Another cross-court pass. Alzma catch and shoot. That's where Illinois State's been dangerous today. Knock it in 10 threes. Collins down low. Great patience. Brooks through some traffic and rolls that one in. 11 points now for Mimi Collins. Great patience in her, for her. Nice look. Wilson on the blow by. And then Rivers, the rejection there for River Baldwin. Oh, Brooks, like an ice skater at Christmas time, putting on the brakes. And then Collins goes to work. Back-to-back -back buckets for Mimi Collins. And you see that mismatch again that Coach Moore was talking about for this game. Wong lays it off. Wilson with a nice shot fake, and then Baldwin's having none of it. One of the SWAT queens of the ACC. And then Brooks gets rejected. Chance here for Deja Smith. And Baldwin is called for the foul. Comes in out of Vancouver, Washington, the Sacramento State transfer. And Lizzie Williamson from Southern Utah. Good spin move from Williamson and a nice hook shot early. There goes that baby hook. Who have outscored the Wolfpack in this fourth. That was a point of emphasis for Westmore coming in. His performance in the fourth quarter. And a block there for Lacey Steele. Anchors this back unit. Nice find to Hayes who somehow angles up a shot and puts that one in. Nine points from Addison. Yes. And with Bama, the last team into the playoff, made, makes for a neat discussion, that's for sure. As Williamson calls glass. That was a, that was a hook hook. They got it back. Nice post middle. She was facing the sideline on that one, but a great finish. Great. Madison Hayes playing tight defense here late. NC State came in a top 25 scoring defense, and they're showing it again with a steal. Lacey Steele with the steal, runs the break, and is rejected. Deja Smith has had none of that little step through. Kristen Gillespie's squad, one of the favorites in the Missouri Valley, putting on a, a good show today. And a three, a nice way to cap it. Deja Smith with the 11th triple. Good performance from Illinois State. Meanwhile, NC State defends home turf. Eighth straight home win and putting on a crowd on Alumni Weekend. Wolfpack moved to 9-0.